Well, I try to allude to that, as you understand, because I think the idea of Greco-Western, I mean, today, because we have the political, you know, sort of war, the cultural wars that we have of today, I mean, we think that's against Islam or Buddhism or India, but it's not. It's a, it's a, it's a critique of essentially of the other tradition, which we call, it was called Judeo-Christian. Now, I think that it's very strange that you can talk about 3,000 years, forgetting that the 2,000 years were around the Christianity, because the other Christianity was a dominant uh, 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 system of beliefs. Then I cannot think that there's any political thinker uh, in the West, uh, uh, especially the Enlightenment strain, without uh, who hasn't confronted the dilemmas of politics as uh, raised by Thomas Aquinas, for example. Or the idea of uh, the ideas of poesis, of creativity, of creation, creativity, as raised by Nicholas of Cusa, or the great mystics of uh, of, uh, the, of the late uh, medieval period. So uh, I think it's a gap there in his thinking. Uh, what happens? But as you said, it appears in in many strange ways. In this case, he believed that the concept of God, as you understand, as described in the Bible. Uh, especially as, as a literalist interpretation of God the Father who says all these sort of things is essentially uh, the beginning of heteronomy in, uh, in modern society. Of course, it's an interpretation of God because what is God in reality? God is the, the mystery, the mysterious, the numinous, the unexpected, the, the non-explicable. God is I mean, for me, it's very interesting that he never dealt with the, the god of Whitehead, for example, or Einstein, or the god of, the, of Spinoza. That essentially, God is a, a sort of a kind of, not a, an omnipotent father, it's not a principle located, localized somewhere, and does all these sort of things. God, God it, it's the nature that's divine. That's why he essentially, in my perception is that he didn't deal either with, with the Socratics. In this case, we actually, you remember the famous statement by the Presocratic Tapanda Pliri Theon, everything is full, replete of go with gods, you know, just this idea. What we mean with God is the numinous, the, inex the, uh, the unexplained, the mysterious element in history. You don't have to, I mean, um, today, I, th I think, like, the critique of the new atheists that we have against Christianity is a, a, a critique of churchianity, not of Christianity as such, right? Uh, essentially, it's a critique of the church as a cult, which is a cult, as you understand. It's, a, it's an institution, like a bank, like a sort of kind of a, a respectable uh, investment uh, in the in, uh, um, uh, establishment. And, uh, you know, just, you know, we have to respect them if, follow, if they follow the law, as you understand. If they follow the law, that's it. But the church, as you understand, has lost its spiritual sort of a kind. If you have a spiritual center, there's no spiritual center in the in the Christian churches or in any other religion, if I may say. I mean, I don't believe that the organized religions can give you any answer. But the story has tried to go beyond that and try to see. I believe in this case uh, um, the the poetic element in this. In the, don't forget that in, in the Christian creed. God is called the poet. He is not the creator, he's the poet, essentially. Poet means imagination. So I believe the concept of sort of that uh, uh, imagine, uh, the imaginary that creates cum nihilo, not ex nihilo, not out of nothing, but with nothing, is probably one of his most important uh, sort of the kind of uh, this, um, suggestions. I don't know if we can call this religious. I don't know if we can call this pneumatic or whatever you like to call it. But I believe that for, for him, the enemy of the people, of the autonomous, the autonomy of the people, was always the Christian church. Which is in many occasions, 99.99% is true. There's 1%, one percent, one point one, which is not true. Which is probably the most important part of religion in this case, right? You know, just, you know the rest is ritual, cult, and uh, essentially the rituals of the tribe.